As the dawn of modern warfare unveils, the stakes are higher than ever. Imagine a world where surveillance could be compromised, where soldiers are at risk during reconnaissance missions and terrains too harsh become impenetrable. Every year, as threats multiply, so does the necessity for more efficient, effective, and safe ways to gather intelligence. Now, what if we had a solution that could provide a bird's eye view without endangering a single human life? While surveillance UAVs have been around since the Vietnam War, the drone scene has advanced significantly. From early firebees to predators and reapers, there was a demand for a new player capable of more than any of the previous unmanned aerial vehicles ever built. That being said, let's find out how the Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout ensures safe skies above us. And before we begin, I would like to ask you to leave this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos as well. Your activity truly helps us to gain traction, as our channel is still quite young, but we truly do our best to provide quality content about the wonders of aviation and value each one of you who supports us on our journey. In response to the US Navy's search for a second-generation UAV after retiring its RQ-2 pioneers, several requirements were specified. The desired UAV had to be a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, boasting a payload capacity of 200 pounds, a range of 125 miles, an endurance of three hours at an altitude of 20,000 feet. And, what's especially important for the Navy operating in rough seas, drone must have the ability to land on a ship in a 29 miles per hour wind. Furthermore, the drone was expected to fly for 190 hours before undergoing planned maintenance. Bell, Sikorsky, and a joint venture between Teledyne Ryan and Schweitzer Aircraft were the three finalists in the competition, designated as VTOL UAV or VTUAV. In spring of 2000, the Ryan Schweitzer UAV won the competition. This drone, which was named the RQ-8A Fire Scout, was derived from Schweitzer's three-passenger, turbine-powered 330SP helicopter. Significant changes included a new fuselage, fuel system, and the integration of UAV-specific electronics and sensors. In its preliminary tests, the prototype of the Fire Scout was piloted, but flew autonomously for the first time in January 2000. It was powered by the Rolls-Royce 250C20 turbine engine, which used JP-8 and JP-5 jet fuel. Notably, JP-5 possesses a higher flashpoint, making it safer for storage and use on ships. Despite satisfactory progress on the project, the US Navy, in December 2001, decided the Fire Scout didn't align with their needs and halted funding for production. Nevertheless, development persisted. Northrop Grumman introduced an array of enhanced configurations to potential stakeholders, leading the US Army to express significant interest. By late 2003, the Army contracted seven improved RQ-8B evaluation units. The model was later renamed MQ-8B in 2006. Northrop Grumman began producing flight test frames for the MQ-8B at their unmanned systems facility in Moss Point, Mississippi. The inaugural flight of the MQ-8B occurred on December 18, 2006 at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Interestingly, the Army's keen interest in the program led to a renewed enthusiasm from the Navy. Consequently, the Navy placed an order for eight Sea Scout MQ-8B variants for assessment purposes. However, by January 2010, the Army chose to discontinue its association with the Fire Scout, asserting that the capabilities of the RQ-7 Shadow UAV were sufficient for their requirements. Meanwhile, in 2009, the Navy greenlighted its production at an initial lower rate. Let's explore what advancements of the MQ-8B sparked the Navy's interest again after discontinuing the initial RQ-8A. One of the most noticeable changes was the main rotor design. The MQ-8B is fitted with a four-blade main rotor, a shift from the 8A larger three-blade rotor. This adjustment was not just for aesthetics, it had functional benefits. The four-blade design was aimed at reducing noise and enhancing both the lift capacity and overall performance of the drone. Beyond its rotor, the specifications of the MQ-8B further emphasize its superiority. The drone saw a gross takeoff weight increase of 500 pounds, culminating in a total weight of 3,150 pounds. 
This weight augmentation has not compromised its utility. In fact, the MQ-8B can comfortably carry payloads up to 700 pounds, especially tailored for short duration missions. In terms of physical dimensions, the MQ-8B stands out with a length of 24 feet, a width of 6.2 feet, and a height of 9.7. But its dimensions aren't its only defining feature. The drone has been fitted with stub wings, which are dual purpose. Not only do these wings serve aerodynamic functions, but they also act as sites for armament attachment. The range of weaponry this drone is set to carry is impressive, from Hellfire missiles and Viper Strike laser-guided glide weapons, to pods loaded with the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, a laser-guided 2.75-inch folding fin rocket. The US Army even recognized the potential of the Fire Scout in battlefield logistics, considering its capacity to deliver up to 200 pounds of emergency supplies to frontline troops. The sensor payloads of the MQ-8B further make it stand out in terms of technology. It offers a plethora of options, from a day and night turret with a laser target designator to advanced systems like a multispectral sensor, a SIGINT module, and the target acquisition minefield detection system. There's also the tactical common data link, as the US Army wanted the Fire Scout seamlessly integrated into a ground sensor network, maximizing its utility on the modern battlefield. Let's take a closer look at how this remarkable autonomous helicopter performed over the course of an entire decade of dedicated service. Throughout this extended period, the helicopter consistently showcased its exceptional capabilities demonstrating its reliability, efficiency, and cutting-edge technology. In April 2010, an MQ-8B operating from the frigate McInerney detected two vessels involved in cocaine smuggling in the Eastern Pacific, resulting in a successful confiscation mission. May 2011 saw three MQ-8S dispatched to northern Afghanistan for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The same year, during the military intervention in Libya, fire scouts, including one which was shot down, played a pivotal role. December 2012 saw the clackering return from a five-month anti-piracy operation, with fire scouts logging over 500 flight hours. By June 2013, the MQ-8B hit a milestone by surpassing 5,000 flight hours in Afghanistan, summing up to over 10,000 hours when combined with naval operations. Also, the Navy enhanced the Fire Scout's surveillance capabilities by ordering the Telefonics ANZP-4 radar. Starting from 2014, 24 MQ-8B were earmarked to be deployed on the Navy's littoral combat ships, bolstering their roles in anti-submarine, surface, and mine warfare. For example, the LCS Freedom conducted operations that saw the manned MH-60R cooperate with the unmanned MQ-8B showcasing a collaborative approach against small boat threats. On October 16, 2016, two MQ-8B Fire Scouts equipped with the Telefonics radars were deployed on the LCS Coronado to Singapore, enabling them to track up to 200 targets. October 13, 2018, marked a significant development when Taiwan was reportedly approved to acquire the MQ-8B, becoming its first export destination. But as with many UAVs, 8B Fleet was retired in October 2022 after 13 years of service, replacing it with the larger MQ-8C. Let's take a glimpse on the new machine. In May 2010, Northrop Grumman revealed the Bell 407 helicopter adaptation with autonomous controls from the MQ-8B named FireX. It first flew at Arizona's Yuma Proving Ground on December 2010. By the April 2012, a $262.3 million contract was secured for the MQ-8C Fire Scout, aiming to deliver 28 units for naval operations. March 2013 saw an engine upgrade for better efficiency and power. The 8C, based on Bell 407, boasts double the endurance and triple the payload of the previous 8B. The first operational 8C was in Navy's hands by December 2014, completing over 320 developmental flights by April 2015. After proving its endurance in August, it underwent a performance assessment in November 2015. Mission capability for the MQ-8C was declared on the 28th of June 2019. It transitioned to providing targeting and surveillance data, emphasizing over-the-horizon targeting capabilities. By this time, the US Navy is equipped with 38 8C 
with 10 operational and the remainder in storage, all stationed on the West Coast for the Independence Class LCS. Over the past decade, the MQ-8 has showcased the advancements and integration of technology in naval operations. Its development and deployment highlight the critical role of innovation in enhancing military capabilities. As we move forward, the story of the Fire Scout underscores the importance of continuous adaptation and advancement in the defense sector. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like it and consider subscribing to our channel for more fascinating videos from the world of aviation.